As one would expect at CES, there were robots, there were entertaining VR displays, but most importantly for this audience, there were some pretty remarkable technologies that retailers and brands should have on their radar heading into 2025 and beyond. And so we at Omnitalk have compiled a few of our favorites just for you. Now, one of the most impressive and immediately actionable technologies that we saw at CES was using conversational AI. AI avatars were everywhere, allowing patrons to do everything from ask a mall kiosk questions and get answers in their native languages, to aiding retail client telling experiences, to creating brand content in any language with the click of a button. There were two companies we found using this technology that made our list, and the first was Box AI. A difficult labor market prompted several QSRs to experiment with everything from remote order takers to completely staffless models, but Vox AI is bringing a new solution to market. Vox's revolutionizing QSR drive throughs with multilingual voice AI that can handle over 85 languages, ensuring accurate and efficient order taking that can scale. Vox AI has several proofs of concept in the works in Europe with plans to head into the U.S. in 2025. Chocolate Sunday added to your order. Anything else for today? Customers who we talk to on a global scale, it doesn't matter if it's Australia, if it's Malaysia, if it's Europe, if it's US based, uh, staff shortages is the number one challenge for uh, operators these days. Uh, so we're making it more efficient, right? So they're already doing uh, three to four tasks uh, at the same time. So we just shave off one task for them just to focus on the core task. Uh, so the speed of service increases, hence higher throughput for the operator, higher revenue, uh, and a higher accuracy. The next is Perso AI. Perso AI is bringing hyper-personalization to retail through conversational AI avatars. Perso AI creates engaging customer experiences by interacting in real time, again, across 175 languages. Now this becomes especially important as more and more retailers and brands partner with influencers and sell internationally or on marketplaces. Today, finally here that I am in my backyard talking about my new swimsuit collaboration with China Dolls. So before I get into showing you guys everything, when customers come into retail stores, they often have various questions, don't they? However, with our advanced AI technology, by leveraging the capabilities of conversational AI, customers can approach the kiosk and ask any questions they may have, receiving immediate answers without the necessity of hiring a large number of employees. You can have conversations in as many as 175 different languages. Lastly, we have the video translator, an advanced AI tool that allows you to localize your content into any language, no matter where your audience is, making communication seamless across the globe. Once the video is recorded, we proceed to meticulously edit and polish it through various techniques. Producing a five-minute video might have taken around two weeks, but now, with our advanced AI technology, it can be done in just one or two minutes. Just so you know, this interview was actually conducted in Korean. What you just saw was their technology that converted his Korean responses to my questions in English with perfect lip syncing on the exact same video. Can't believe your eyes? Here's the Spanish version. Okay, okay, you get the idea. Our next technology company deals with retail, warehouse, and distribution center. Waymo is micromobility vehicles, or souped-up scooters as their founder lovingly compared them to, transform warehouse operations with agile plug-and-play order pickers and are much more approachable at $2,500 per unit than most automation solutions. Plus, they have had significant impact with those already piloting them. People take in warehouses at around 20, 28,000 steps per day. And we have decreased that number of steps by 96%. We have seen efficiency levels of 75% of an increase in overall operational efficiency. There are the conventional methods, the material handling vehicles, the usual ways, the more people, the more of the manual labor. But And also, at the other end of the spectrum, there is the automated solutions. They are the AMRs, AGVs, ASRS systems but there is nothing in between. That's why we have started out with the 
micromobility integrated within the warehouses. Once those packages efficiently leave the Waymo powered warehouse, the next concern for many retailers is making sure that the product actually gets to the customer without being nabbed by a no gooder first. Porch piracy has been on the rise and many solutions out there require inconvenient or expensive solutions, but not this one. Introducing iCoffer. While still in its piloting phase, its tamper-proof GPS-enabled shipping boxes seem like an easy win, especially for shipping high-value and luxury goods. iCoffer's reusable shipping containers run around $300 per unit and come with the ability to address many critical security challenges. We are solving the problem of lost package and also theft. So with this box, you can track the package in real time and uh, it has also tamper detection. So if somebody is trying to tamper the box along the way, you will be alerted uh, immediately. You can also interact with the box. So we have a, an intercom function. So through the app, you can speak and they can listen through the speaker uh, installed in the box. The box is reusable. So after your client got the box, it will be shipped back to you. So you can reuse it for other sales. Well, we're on the topic of theft. Have you noticed that many of your favorite fragrance aisles have been wiped free of testers or they've been completely put under glass? Not exactly an ideal shopping experience for something that's that costly and that helps to be able to smell before purchasing. Here comes Iroma Scents. Iroma Scents are changing how fragrances are sold in retail environments. Iroma Scents combines AI and scent emitting devices to personalize fragrance recommendations. We have an AI wizard that walks you through a variety of questions and believe it or not, in less than one minute, it gives you a recommendation based on your uh, input. It actually it increases dramatically the conversion ratio. And you don't need all these fragrances which are being stolen, as well as the uh, samplers also. No. If it's a high-end um, fragrance, it costs a lot of money. In here, we're the only one, and actually the amount that we use is even half of the one that you do in the store. So you save money on that as well. Um, the space, you don't need so much space. So real estate is also expensive. The experience for the buyer is it increase. The uh, uh, efficiency for the seller increases. Win -win. And it doesn't end with this sampling solution. Avner told me that smell of vision and the ability to emit scent in places like movie theaters or even while you're shopping online Sometimes even sense that you can text like an emoji to another contact in your phone, that stuff is already here. Avner predicts that movie theaters will be the first to roll out that technology and likely within the next couple of years. Speaking of smells, what's that cooking? Well, it could be anything really. And the best part is it doesn't require costly kitchen infrastructure. Just this Savor Eats kiosk. Saver Eats is bringing the future of food personalization to life with its robotic chef. The kiosk can be customized for quick serve restaurants, sports facilities, colleges, food trucks, etc., and makes 90 meals to order in less than an hour. All it needs is a plug. The first robot chef that can personalize the dish based on your preferences. The level of protein, the level of fat, the different cooking preferences, easily can make, made, crafted on the spot and cooked simultaneously so in the, pro the end of the process the product comes out is ready to be consumed we are mainly targeting the food service operators those giants places where where you you need to feed a lot of people at once no labor is needed we can overcome this challenge increase the revenue improve the customer satisfaction you can even talk with the robot you can have an interaction with the robot ask them what you want to order and it will make you the food you can see the entire process like how the engine is moving, how the, um, the product is being made, so you can feel very comfortable. We've all had mobile ordering for a while, but this truly is mobile ordering, cooking, and eating. While these technologies are impressive, many are still in their concept stages, understandably at CES. So we've saved our best for last because this technology has gone from pilot phase to full scale rollout with one of the world's largest retailers. And we think you'll quickly understand why. 
you're looking at right now is Epsense. Uh, the version that we have here is a version that integrates the powerful technology um, from Exeter that is harvesting light in stores and is able to recycle that light to bring power to digital shelves like you're seeing right now. Because we're integrating everything into rail as opposed to a single IoT. So here, the benefit of that is that you do have more power because we have one single battery powering up to 15 displays and you do have the communication that's integrated within the rail and by adopting a solution such as this one you're reducing your carbon footprint when rolling out a digital store by 48 percent when we take a specific look at the powerful version uh, we're going to be increasing the power budget what does that mean for a retailer it means that beyond pricing and promotion automation they're going to be able to plug in sensors uh, like computer vision cameras and use uh, a lot more their rails and use a lot more of their investment for in-store picking for instance so the usage is going to be a lot more intense with this uh, indoor recycling technology this is a technology that was chosen by Walmart um, and we recently announced that we're going to be deploying 4,600 stores with them. We already have a portion of their fleet that's deployed, so this is a technology that's tried and true and proven and that's scalable at the scale of the largest retailer in the world. You heard that right. Walmart just announced that they'll be rolling out Vision Group's electronic shelf labels to all 4,600 stores chain-wide, and those tags will not require the use of batteries, but instead these power foil strips. So how do these solar cells work exactly, especially inside of a retail store? Inside the solar cell, there is a chemistry that is optimized for different light levels. And one way of describing how that works is that it mimics photosynthesis. But it actually takes the photons in the light and it goes into energy that can power the product. So it's constantly charging with the light that is already here. You don't need to point an extra light because the light in the retail store is enough. The chemistry is optimized to function really well at low lux levels is what we call it, but it's really low light levels. Okay. So the solar cell that Vision is buying from Exeter, the powerful solar cell for them, it's uh, really effective at generating uh, power also at as lux levels as low as 200 lux. And that's way darker than what we have here. And they're still generating enough power to, to, uh, you know, to power up the, the, the price labels and other functionality. This adaptable technology is helping retailers drastically cut down on energy usage and battery waste. So it's not only saving money and reducing the workload to replace the batteries, but it's also helping retailers like Walmart meet their sustainability goals. As we move towards smarter and more technologically enhanced lives and shopping experiences like the ones showcased at CES, innovations like this will set the standard for what's possible. Live from CES in Las Vegas, this has been Omnitalk Retail, giving you a glimpse into the future.